Here we're looking at swamp white oak. It's in the family Phagaceae, the genus Quercus, and the specific epithet is bicolor. So Quercus bicolor is the full species name. Let's take a closer look at its identifying characteristics. The bark of swamp white oak or bicolor oak has furrows with slightly flat-topped ridges, again kind of a gray-brown in color, can be easily mistaken for bur oak or occasionally white oak depending upon the size and age of the tree. The bark on the branches can look a bit like white oak in that it's in plates and seems to be almost peeling or recurving off of the branch. But as you move out to the smaller branches for swamp white oak, you'll see that it is actually peeling, where on the white oak it would be smooth. Here you can see on some of the smaller branches, about an inch in diameter, the bark is actually exfoliating or just lightly peeling off, which is different than white oak. The buds, branches, twigs, leaves are all arranged alternately on swamp white oak, so twig, twig, and then we see leaf, and then a leaf. Here the terminal buds are clustered at the end, and they're rounded, and don't have a real definite shape to them, um, just sort of clustered and rounded at the very end of the twig. The leaves of swamp white oak are single, simple leaves, and they are slightly lobed, although the sinuses are very, very shallow for swamp white oak. And you can see there's a lot of variety, again, in both size and general shape. But they tend to be narrower at the base and then rise up and then narrow a bit more, again, at the end. On the top, it's a very nice green, dark green color. And on the underside, you can see that it's a very light green or almost white color. Here's the still developing acorn of the swamp white oak. On the cap, you can see that there are these protrusions. It's not smooth, and so on the underside, you might see a little bit of a fringe. This one is still developing, so the full acorn isn't out. The notable feature is this stem that connects to the twig to the acorn, and that's called the peduncle, and it can be two to three inches long. Swamp white oak has a more upright character to it, a little narrower crown than we see in the white oak or in the burr oaks. 